Hi there. We're having a look at network concepts overall, but in this one we're having a look at, in this video we're looking at Eulerian walks, or sometimes pronounced Eulerian walks. I'm going to say Eulerian because I think most students will just uh, pronounce it phonetically, although the guy it was, uh, guy it was based on is, uh, is pronounced Euler, apparently, for some reason or other funny name anyway. So let's call it Eulerian because I think 98% uh, of students will pronounce it that way and it gets annoying otherwise. I'll probably <laughs> flick between the two. Anyway, here we go. Uh, Eulerian trial, trails. Eulerian trails. Can't even say trails because I'm too put off by Eulerian. A Eulerian trail uses every edge exactly once, so no repetitions, and it uses every edge, and starts and ends in a different vertex. So, um... There we have it, that's the condition. It's got to use every edge only once and starts and ends at a different vertex. It's not uh, all uh, not all shapes that can be Eulerian trails, but let's have a look. And uh, one, one uh, piece of information is that a Eulerian trail exists if the graph has exactly two vertices with an odd degree. We looked at degrees earlier on in the series. That was video two if you're looking. So let's have a look at this diagram here and see if this is a an example of uh, a Eulerian trail, if we can make it. So we need to use every edge exactly once and start and end at a different vertex. Let's see. So that's the uh, proposed route that uh, satisfies as a Eulerian trail. So if we go C to A and down to B and up to D, down to C and across to B, We've used every edge exactly once. We haven't repeated any edges. And we've started, we started at C, started at C, ended at B. So we've ticked off the idea that we need to start and end at a different vertex. So uh, yeah, I think we're there. That's uh, an example of a Eulerian trail. Let's have a look at the second bit. It exists if, if the graph has exactly two vertices with an odd degree. Now let's just quickly, that's got a degree of 2, which is an even degree. That's got a degree of 2, which is an even degree. But have a look at these two. That's got a degree of 3, because there are three edges connecting with it. And this one here is has uh, that's a vertex with a degree of 3 as well. So it has exactly two vertices which have an odd degree. So no wonder we could create a Eulerian trail out of it. Sounds cool except for the pronunciation. Sorry about that. Thanks, you've just discovered a really hard to pronounce person's name there. See you next time, we'll use it again.